Hey, Sneaky Linux back today. Today, we're with the latest Unity Linux, based on Mandriva, or if you're really old like me, Mandrake. Yeah, but Unity is pretty crucially cool. Now, this one's got even better than the last one. Every time I do it, it gets better and better and better. Now, basically, Unity is a distro you build up yourself. So you get the base box, or blocks even, and off you go, and you start building what you want to do. So I'll go to the menu, there we go, look. This is basically all you get. You get Chromium, I think I've got that myself, actually. Midori is a standard browser. Office, I installed Abbey Word and Genumeric, as far as I can remember. I kind of done this one a couple of days ago. I installed Xvid Cat down the bottom there, and the Read on Box, or, and Avid Emux as well, actually, because I was just giving it a good old try out, as you do. And obviously, you can do lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of stuff. Now, even though I've installed it to the hard drive, you still get the bleeding installer there. So, that's the only one main niggle I've got with it, really, is they don't get rid of the icon or that in the menu. Pay it. That's not much too pay, real, is it, when you think about it? Anyway, enough of me rambling on a bit. We'll go to the Midori browser. <clears throat> now, when you first click on the browser, you get this. Now, basically, you can change it to any desktop you so wish to. So you can have XFCE, GNOME, LXDE, E17, or even KDE. And you get a choice of a normal install or a minimal. Now, unfortunately, when you go to click on one of these packages here, or one of the links, should I say, it don't go nowhere. Uh, whether or not it was just a missing link or a broken link at the time, I don't know. But you can go and get them anyway if you go to the Unity page. You know what I mean? They're all there anyway, so that's no big deal, is it? But it's nice, it's just a one-click install. You didn't have to do anything. It just done it all for you. Don't forget you can actually remaster and remix this one and make your own distro to get to other people. So if you think it's really, really good, you just remix it, man. Remix. Oh, yeah. Well, I like it anyway. Yeah, but it's super cool to use. I remember Chameleon is based on this. Remember I've done Chameleon a few more, oh, a couple of months ago now? That's one of all the different distros. That's basically like Unity with every desktop you've got. So it's no big deal, is it? It's really good. I like it. We'll open up Chrome. More Chromium, whatever one it is. Can't remember. Oh, it's Google Chrome. No, it's Chromium, really. Anyway, yeah, it all works. Look, learn about Google Chrome. The usual page you get when you first boot him up. So that's all right. That all works. Nothing more to say. Shall I show you the video? You know what? I can't be asked. You can do it yourself. It's quite a small download. It's not too much, it's about 400 odd, I think, something like that. So you've got a fast internet connection. It's easy peasy to download and try from the live CD. Remember, it does work from the live CD too. Now, I can't remember if I remember your password. Hang on. Uh, was that the right one? Nope. Let's try that again. What one is it? Number one, two, three, or four. Okay. I think this is number four, this one. Let's have a look. Whee! It was number four. That's super cool. So if you've used um, PC Linux OS before, or Mandriva, or Unity even, and quite a few other distros out there that use this, you'll be very, very, very familiar with all this. Set up your graphical server, print your scanners, keyboard, nah, the usual. But you didn't do much of this when you're actually installing it, so it's no big deal. You ain't got to do anything else. You can set up all your internet connection, a system one as well. I could keep showing you all of it and all of it. But I've shown you this quite a few times before, but if you're new to my videos, you may not have seen them, so there. Anyway, we're halfway through. Now, I didn't make this one too long. I thought we'd just do a little bit on it, because I've done others on it, and I'll probably do, a, I'll probably do the latest Mandriva soon as well, when I'll get round to it. Time is of an essence again now, it's getting near Christmas and all that, you know what I mean? Christmas shopping and all that. Raw mail's not really reliable anymore, but it gets it there. Parcel full school. Anyway, Smart Package Manager. A bit like Synaptic, a bit like Ubuntu package store and all that, you know, all that stuff, the usual. There it goes, look, we're updating our packages. It's the same sort of idea, exactly the bleeding same, no bleeding problem, bleeding, bleeding, bleeding. So, just wait for this to download. Look at that lovely speed, look at that lovely, isn't it? It's gorgeous speed, yeah, love it. So, yeah, if we wait for it to do its stuff. It takes a couple of minutes, in total, I think. Nah, it can take a minute, won't it? So it does its stuff, updates all the packages, just like it would do in Synaptic when you first install it. You have to reload everything or update the packages, don't you? It updates that cache for us, and you just wait a little while where it goes through the motions, or emotions, or whatever motions you want to call it. And it's nearly done, we're almost there, bish bosh, sorted. We should be able to go and do stuff now, really, shouldn't we? Once that thing gets out of the way, finishing its updating the cache thing, there we go. So there you go, and we've updated our package manager. Now we can go and look for stuff now, can't we? So we're going to look for... Uh, let's type it in right the first time, shall we? VLC we're going to look for. Because that's a really good you know, music player, video player, everything player. Comes with everything you need to play stuff with, because it's a player player. Really good. So there we go. So that's not Cadu VLC media player, is it? No, we don't want that one, because that's not the one we want. No. So if we scroll down a bit, we should see some VLCs. 
Here's the plugins. I'm going to go a bit further. Ah, right, we've got two here. Very interesting. One's priority 10, and the other one is priority 11. So what one do you think we should have? Hmm, I just don't know. I think I could go for number 11, because that seems newer to me. Yes, thank you very much. This is all the package it's going to install for you. You click OK, and like in any other package manager, you click there, click there, bish, bosh, off it goes. Downloads all the packages you need to run VLC, which is quite a few. Well, not too many, but you get a lot of codecs in it with it as well, didn't you? So don't worry about it. So anyway, we're we going, we're we going, we're we going. The speed's gone down there. I'm disappointed again now. Oh, I just hate when it does that. Don't you just hate when it does things like oh, So we wait, we wait. See, I've not edited the video. I've just let it do its stuff today. Because I'm being a bit lazy. We're now installing all the packages. If you've seen the last one on Unity, I installed something as well. It's the same sort of thing. Now, all the packages are completely updated. There's no crashes. There's no I can't gets and stuff like that. So that's even better. I likey, likey, likey. We're now installing the main package of VLC. That didn't took very long, really, has it? What's that been about 20 seconds? That's not bad, really. It's my standard usual test machine. Oh, yes, indeedy. The standard usually one. Yes. The old, the old babe, you know, the other one. Dual core. About six. I'll tell you what, it must be six years old now. Easy. When it, when it was new, this was really top notch. But hey, it's had a good life. It had quite a few hard drives and memory changes, etc. But hey, all worky. Anyway. Package Manager's doing its stuff, saving the cash. Now, when we go down to the menu, down to the bottom now, we should be able to find anything we really like. Sound and video, VLC, media players there. Is it going to work? Of course it's going to work. We've all used it before. You should, if you haven't got it on one of your system now, go and get it for whatever distro you've got. And it is available for, for nearly all of them. So it shouldn't be bad. Put it on, because it'll actually play stuff that other stuff won't play. If you know what I mean. Like dodgy videos or stuff like that. Yeah, you know what I mean. Anyway, I'll quickly go through a menu again with you. There's a few bits and bobs here. We're coming to the end of the video nearly now, anyway. Put your tools, get quite a few tools. Customise again. You can customise your desktop. You can change your fonts, your icon themes, your mouse cursors, and lots and lots and lots of other stuff, really. Not too many colours there, though, is there? But as for the themes, it uses basic known themes at the moment, but you can change the clear looks and stuff like that if you really want to. Or you can add more if you want. You can always add more, okay? So I've just done that for clear looks, all right, so a mouse cursor, I think I'll just leave that as it is really, it's fine the way it is, yes. So if you right click desktop you get this as well, so you get all your menu on the desktop as well as you do in the menu bar at the bottom on the left. There's a lot like Puppy and Tiny Corn and all like that, it's a standard thing really. I've opened Debbie Word up, what version they're using, it's 2.8.6, current version, super duper fast, saves to loads of formats. Right, what else have we got? We've got two applications again, <coughs> excuse me, bit of a call. System tools we're going to go down to and stuff like that. Look, it's all there. Can you see it all? It's all there. You can do whatever you want. Remember, you can actually add loads and loads of stuff, can't you? You can add loads and loads and loads of stuff. We'll just quickly go to the network center. Look, wired Ethernet. That's what I've got here. Always use wired. It's a bit more reliable and all the other items in the house are wireless anyway, so I didn't want any conflicts. We'll quickly do one more thing here. Where are we? What should we do? Um, we've only got about 30 seconds to go. I don't know. What should we do? I don't want to go to the installer, but we can get rid of that, please, very much. I don't like you. I'll tell you what, we'll quickly go to customer, c configure your computer one more time, and have a quick squirt for it, really. I want to remember my password again, which I should do, because I've typed it several times today. Basically, that's just a shortcut to this section. Same old thing there, same old. Anyway, if you fancy a change, Unity has got a lot, lot better, and it gets better every time. I like it. Five out of five. Sneaky Linux out.